we're really good at measuring mice here at the Jackson Lab. We measured everything under the sun. I just show you the hairball, just to give you a sense that you know, at three or six time points uh, across their lifespan, we measured hundreds of things. Uh, I I forget the total number, but there may have been over seven hundred individual measurements, not including body weight, which we collected weekly which would be now thousands of measurements on each individual mouse. And we asked, you know, of all these things that we measured, if we calculated their diet adjusted lifespan correlation, um, so which traits are associated with longer lifespan, which traits are associated with shorter lifespan, uh, in this little diagram here, here's a trait that I called pheno delta. That's really hands down it's most strongly associated with very long lifespan. And here's the trait most strongly associated with shorter lifespan, that's the red cell distribution width at 10 months of age. Uh, some of these other traits like myeloid and lymphoid cell populations are immune traits. And um, I didn't get into the fat content, but when animals are not losing weight, they are maintaining fat and maintaining fat is definitely a good thing. Positive association with lifespan. If you can maintain fat on one of these restrictive diets.